Fostering animals from our local shelters has never been more important than it is right now. With so many shelters overcrowded, fostering dogs or cats opens up some much needed space. In today's Tell These Tales, I found a good example of someone who saw the benefits of doing this. Kaylee Graham of Dunedin messaged me and said she proudly failed at fostering two dogs. Failed because she ended up adopting them. Luna, the cute little beige dog there, and Esther, a German shepherd who came to her at 12 years old in awful shape, are now both living the good life at Kaylee's house. Fostering, it isn't the right fit for everyone, but Kaylee's quick to remind us that if you volunteer to foster a dog or cat, it doesn't have to be a huge time commitment. You don't have to do like three, four week commitments. You can do just like a weekend getaway. You can do like a day or two just to see how it works. I mean, any time getting these animals out of the shelter only helps them. Also, most shelters will provide you with everything you need for the animal, including food, a bed, and toys. Luna's middle name, by the way, is Tick. Lunatic. <laughs> I really like that dog. <laughs> I put information on fostering opportunities with shelters in Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, and Hernando counties on the Tully's Tales Facebook group. It is pinned to the top of the page. Do you know of something good happening involving a rescue pet or a rescue organization? I want to hear about it. Join the Tully's Tales Facebook group.